Hey YouTube, Austin Vintage Warfare here again to talk about what we all love, the cringe that you find on Gunbroker. But before I begin, just want to do a quick announcement. Um, I will be doing YouTube a lot more. Um, I wouldn't say full time, but I'll be doing regular long video content and all that kind of stuff. So product reviews, topics in the firearms industry, topics on firearms that I like to talk about, maybe like stuff I do for shorts, but in more depth. Um, that being said, go ahead and like the video for the YouTube algorithm is a cruel mistress and requires your sacrifice. So it really helped me out. Please and thank you. So number one on the list, Glock boys, this video may or may not trigger you. I am not sure yet. And even if I was, I would not care. So for starters, somebody explain to me why this exists. It appears to me to be some kind of cover for Glock slides in case you uh, Glock boys don't like your guns actually doing what they're supposed to do in being durable and whatnot. Yeah, if you, bu if you buy this Glock polymer slide cover case for a Glock slide saver, I, I will bully you, and so should your friends. And while we're on the topic of this trade show abomination, it says it fits any uh, holster. Yeah, press X to doubt. There is no way that this fits in a Safari Land holster. Maybe he, maybe they're thinking like an Uncle Mike's, like a, I tell you what, son, this holster is the dang on best, and it's just some leather. I could shove literally anything in it. But moving on from the Glock uh, phone case, we have the gouging of Glocks, which I think is just a common practice on a uh, gun broker, has been for some time, but... We have here a Glock 17, Glock 17, Glock 17, Glock 17, Glock 17, Glock 17, um, for five hundred dollars. And let's 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 think about this though. How about a Glock 17 Gen 3 OEM slide upper for four ninety five ninety nine? Someone come get your dad and revoke his gun broker privileges, please. For the sake of everyone. It's funny because anybody with a stock Glock is going to replace it with a third party slide anyway, so, you know. I'm waiting for one of the Glock boys in the in the chat to be uh, <laughs> mad right now about uh, explaining why Glock is perfection, but they replace all of the parts on it right after they get it stock. I just picture really small hands typing away on the keyboard right now, uh, making their distaste for my opinions known to me. Which, by the way, I'm not, like, a not fan of Glock. I just, I have man hands. So I go to SIG and HK usually. So that's, like, a personal preference thing. Don't look too far into it. But speaking of this further Glock Armageddon on Gunbroker today, um, we have here, according to this serial number, this is a Glock that was part of the New Orleans Police Department at one point or another. And... <laughs> Bubba got his hands on it. This has got to be the worst stipple job I think I've ever seen. And I've seen some pretty bad ones. This is this is horrible. Like Like they scratched the bottom too. I don't, I don't even It looks like whoever did this like stippled it with a bag of dicks. And this is pretty cool. Um this isn't even really cursed. I don't really know what to think about it. For you goons in the audience, maybe you're into this kind of thing. A Pew's Platoon Early Warning System Ground TRS Army LE ground radar pelican. I swear to God that like gun broker titles, it's like they're speaking Spanish but in English. Like everything is reversed for no reason. Um, I guess this is like a war early warning ground system, like you know strings and stuff, uh, wires to let you know when a blue helmet is nearby. So I don't know. Um, if a thousand dollars is a lot for that, then I don't know. Go wild, man. Not my uh, not my circus. Not my monkey. And surprisingly, I haven't seen too many uh, sporterized mill serps. I was looking for something ridiculous, and uh, maybe I bullied them off of Gunbroker. I don't know at this point. But, um, yeah, let's be honest. I don't have that much niche internet micro celebrity power to do that, probably. But um, be on the lookout and send me that on Instagram, because anything that you find from uh, Gunbroker that I want to maybe roast, you know, show it to me. It might include it. But, okay, my babies, that is going to do it for me today. It's Austin Vintage Warfare. As I said, uh, if you're new to the channel, 
I love you, and if you're a subscriber, I still love you, and I will be doing this a lot more. So, I will see you in the next video. Later.